Hey guys and girls, Luca here on the PTS server. The new DLC Walking Flame got released on the test server. It includes two new dungeons, Red Petal Bastion and the Dread Cellar, with six new item sets and two new monster sets. On top of that, another three new PvP sets from the Rewards of the Worthy. There will be also a new PvP campaign, a non-CP one, without any proc sets. Let's get started. First set is a heavy armor one called Crimson Oath Thrive set. It gives 2 times armor and 1 uh, max HP. The 5 set piece bonus when you use an ability that applies a major minor buff to yourself and ally, send out a wave of energy that reduces the armor of nearby enemies within 12 meters by 3541 for 15 seconds. And it has a 12 seconds cooldown. So the duration is longer than the cooldown. Yeah, what a meme, right? It's basically better than Alkosh, the old Alkosh. And you only have to use a major or minor buff. For example, Rally gives major brutality and minor endurance. So, actually both. Let me use it, then I can show you the effect. Zack. Pretty nice, right? It will be best in slot for probably PvE tanks, but even in PvP useful against um, Zergs, for example. If you are in an outnumbered situation in the tower and you have 5, 6, 7 enemies in front of you, you can basically debuff them all with this juicy set. Second set from the same dungeon, this time a medium armor set that gives recovery weapon spell damage and penetration. When you deal direct damage with a blink, charge, leap, teleport or pull ability, pull enemies within 10 meters to you. After 2 seconds deal 5k physical damage to all enemies within 7 meters. This effect can occur once every 8 seconds and scales of the higher weapon or spell damage. But the pull will not apply crowd control immunity to a target. Well. Don't know about this set, it's probably useless. Maybe nice in trash fights for PvE, but phew, other than that, I don't know. Probably not useful. Let me show you the effect with a charge ability like a critical charge. Let me use Stampede here. Zack. Here we go, that was the effect. Kind of similar to the heavy armor set. Let me do it again. Oh, not bad. Next set is the light armor set from the same dungeon called Scorion's Feast. It gives max magicka, max recovery, weapon and spell damage. When you deal damage with a fully charged heavy attack, you gain an imbued aura for 10 seconds, granting you and up to 3 other group members 300 magicka and stamina region. 20 seconds cooldown, okay. If you deal damage again with a fully charged heavy attack with an imbued hour, so with the first um, proc, consume it and gain an overflow hour aura for 10 seconds, granting you and up to 3 other group members 307 weapon and spell damage, okay. That's not bad, but you have to do 2 fully charged heavy attack. I don't know if it's useful, maybe for PvE raids, but it's only, let me check, 3, right? No, 4 in total, 4 members. Mm. Well, maybe useful, don't know. Let me show you the visual effect. Fully charged heavy attack, zack. Ui! Okay, not bad. Now the second fully charged heavy attack. Ah, look at this. That's not bad. Kinda cool for the role players. Next set is the monster set from the same dungeon called Magma Incarnate. Oh, the one set piece bonus is nice. Magical recovery and stamina recovery. Cool. The second piece set bonus when you heal yourself on a group member with a single target heal ability, grant the lowest health group member within 28 meters minor courage and minor resolve. So 250. Uh, weapon and spell damage and almost 3k armor for 10 seconds, okay. 
that weak energy will then bounce to a nearby group member within 8 meters up to 3 times, applying Mana Courage and Mana Resolve for 10 seconds. Maybe useful in PV raids again. Or probably also in small scale PvP. Kinda hard to say. Okay, let me show you the visual effect. So I have to heal myself. Zack. Okay. Here, yeah, minor courage. Well, I can't show you the other one because I'm I'm the only one here, so <laughs> It can't, it can't bounce. But yeah, I got minor courage and minor resolve. Next set is a heavy armor set from the other dungeon, Red Petal Bastion. The Silver Rose Widget set, it gives max stamina, max stamina and health. Blocking an attack grants your stack of Realm Shaper for 15 seconds, gaining up to one stack every 0.5 seconds. When you reach 3 stacks, you consume them and launch necrotic energy at your attacker, dealing magic damage and applying major maim for 12 seconds. We so 10% damage reduction. Mm, maybe useful for PvE tanks or in one on ones for dueling, maybe. Yeah, seems not that good to be honest. <laughs> Come over here, River Troll. Okay, let me block. One stack, two, three stacks. There you go. That was the ne necrotic energy. Bonus, plus, plus. Whee! Not bad. Next set is a medium armor set. Probably the most important one. It gives stamina, stamina, pen, weapon and spell damage. Dealing night attack damage grants you a stack of bakers Delight for 5 seconds. When you gain 3 stacks, you create a sweet roll next to your target for 5 seconds. If you or an ally touches the sweet roll, both you and your ally gain one of the following effects. So health, magicka, stamina, empower or major force. This effect can occur once every 2 seconds. Okay. Sounds pretty cool. Let me check it. Where is this shitty troll? Here. Come over here, my friend. We have only... We have to do night attack, okay. One, two, three. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, lol. It just disappeared. Let me do it again. Okay, this set is fucking cool. And it must be overpowered, honestly. I mean, look. Then power. Now I got, I think, major force. No. Still in power. Let me do it again. Now I got major force. So 20% more crit damage. Let me do it again. So it's basically without cooldown. Now I got empowered. Kinda buggy sometimes and empowered again. Okay. Cool set. Next set is the light armor one from the same dungeon. Thunder Caller. So a Thunder Caller. It gives penetration, weapon, and spell damage two times. Daily damage with fully charged heavy attack. Again, this fully charged heavy attack. Calls a bolt of lightning at your target, dealing shock damage and leaving a 4 meter lightning crater at the location for 6 seconds, stealing another. 1k, so dot damage. Uh, this effect can occur once every 12 seconds. Okay. Let me see. Yo, troll, I'm back. Fully charged heavy attack. Ui. That's fucking OP. The visual effect. <laughs> okay, let me do it again. Alright, 12 seconds cooldown. Myself, yeah. Let's wait a bit. Should be enough now. Bam. Okay, not bad. Now here it's just a dot damage, yeah. Tick, tick, tick. 
Well, visual effect is cool, but probably kind of useless. Next monster set, the second one from the same dungeon. Uh, Prior Theoric, I have no clue how to pronounce it. It gives weapon and spell damage, then dealing direct damage with an area of effect, so for example wearing blades. Creates a 6 meter shadowy whirlwind below your enemy for 7 seconds. Enemies within the whirlwind take physical damage each second and decrease the damage taken from your area. Okay, not bad I guess. Let me test it, I need an EOE. Direct damage run, let me slot brawler. Hey troll, I'm back. <laughs> okay. Ooh! That looks cool, not gonna lie. How long is the cooldown? 15 seconds. Oh, yeah, that's kinda long. But let me do it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cooldown, cooldown. Here we go. Here's the dot damage, tick tick tick, 1k. Well, it's okay. Nothing special. That's it with the showcase. I couldn't find the three new PvP sets. They're probably not available yet. Maybe they will implement them in the next patch. I don't know. But for now, thanks for watching. I will upload um, two or three other videos about the update 31. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, give it a like. Don't forget to sub my channel. And I'll see you hopefully in the next video. Ciao.